Today we're making PVC Christmas trees that'll look perfect in your holiday display. These Christmas trees are inexpensive and super easy to make, transforming your yard into a Christmas wonderland. So join me for this super simple tutorial. To begin making our PVC Christmas trees, we need PVC pipe. Now this one is half an inch in diameter and they sell these in 10 foot sections. For every tree, we need three PVC pipes. Once we get our pipe, we need to cut it to the size that we want. So these trees that I'm making are gonna range in size from six feet to seven and a half feet tall. It really depends on your preference and what you want. But each of these pipes, I'm gonna to cut to about six feet. These Christmas trees are not directly touching the ground, so they have legs on them, three different legs on them, made from the same PVC material. So this is a super simple and easy project. It'll take us no more than 15 minutes to complete one tree, so let's get started. Before we continue with this tutorial, I wanted to show you all the first book that I've written. It's called Little Olive and the Wally Bat, and it's rated for kids ages two to six years old. It follows a brave little olive that gets lost and is found by a very helpful brown bat. This is the first book I've ever written, and I'm super excited about it. It's available on Amazon via paperback or Kindle. So if anyone wants to support me or read it to their kiddos, go check it out. The link is in the bio of the video, Little Olive and the Wally Bat on Amazon. Now let's get back to this amazing tutorial. For the top, we're gonna to be using two inch end cap and there's two different ways you can do it. You can either drill a single hole in the middle and put a three inch screw, or like I did, I marked it in four different areas, pre-drilled and then put four different screws. And let me show you what it would look like. This is what it would look like. As you can see, we only barely went inside of the end cap, just barely, and we have two different styles. Either one works great, I use this one often, but this one allows you to put more strands, but both of them work great. And all we're doing in order to get this hole first is using a drill tip right over here. Just make sure that it's a little bit smaller than the size of the screw that you're using. And once we make the hole, we can drill in a three inch screw. Also, it's important that we make holes on the side of the end cap. I'm probably gonna do three holes, one right here, one over here, and maybe another one over here. Those holes are gonna be used to support the pipes once they're on the inside. We're gonna get a two inch screw and drive it through so that the end cap can be attached to the pipes on the inside. It doesn't matter where you put the holes because at some point, once you put the screw inside, it's gonna make contact with the three pipes that are gonna go inside here. So carefully hold the end cap and right in the middle, our first hole, second, and third hole. If you wanna make a fourth hole, we could definitely do it over here, but I think three should be enough. Now that I've measured my PVC to six feet, I have my handy dandy pipe cutter, and just like this, we've cut it. Once you've cut your PVC, we should have three pieces of PVC that measure six feet. Again, you can decide to do it whatever height you want, but mine are gonna be cut into six feet sections. Then we need the legs. These legs are going to keep the tree from touching the ground so that the lights don't touch the ground, essentially. I've cut these little pieces to about four inches. Again, you can cut them whatever size you want. For our six foot PVC, we're gonna be wrapping them with red electrical tape. Now, some people don't like these wording over here. You can remove it with acetone or you can spray paint it white and then once it dries, you can wrap it with red. Also, you don't even have to wrap it with red, but I think it'll look nice, sort of like candy cane. So we're gonna use some red electrical tape really quickly. So just a quick tip, don't go all the way to the top with the electrical tape because you need enough space for it to go into the connector pieces, the cross tees, so just leave about an inch or two. So these are the tools and pieces we need to create the base of our Christmas tree. 
What you see in front of us is just for one Christmas tree. So you need to get more pieces if you want to make more than one. We need a crimping tool. We need three half inch cross PVC connectors. We need two clamps that are half inch. We need one coupling piece that is made for half inch PEX pipe. We need one half an inch 10 foot section of PEX pipe. And we need three half inch PVC pieces that have been cut to four inches. So to make the base, let's grab our PEX pipe. We're gonna put all three cross connectors into the PEX pipe. It doesn't matter which hole you use. Then we're gonna bring the other end of the PEX pipe together like this. Get one of the clamps and put it in on one end just like that. And then another one on the other end just like this. Then we're gonna grab our coupling piece, put it in there just like that, so it can't go no more, and bring the other side. Then we bring the clamps like this. Make sure they're close enough to the edge, but not too close to the edge. You want it to grab the coupling piece on the inside. Then we grab our crimping tool. We put our crimping tool inside like this, and bam. And just like that, we have the base and it's good to go. So let's go to the next step, which is grabbing our PVC pieces like this. And just like that, we've got the base going on. Before we move on to the next step, make a slight hole right in the center of the cross tee. The reason we're doing this, and you don't want to go all the way through, you don't want to go through the pecs, you just want to make just like that. We didn't even go all the way through, we just wanted to make that indentation like that. And the reason we're doing this, there you go, is that when we put them in the positions we want, we're going to drive a one inch, two inch screw through the middle so it keeps it steady and it doesn't move like this. But you don't wanna go all the way through, we just wanted to get the indentation in so it's easier for us to put the screw in. So now it's time to attach the six foot candy cane PVC that we've just done. So we wanna make sure that everything is equally distanced from each other so we can create a tripod. So once you have it, I always like using the clamps right over here as the starting point for the first one and then just look to make sure everything else looks like it'll form a tripod. Then let's grab our PVC that we've wrapped and let's start inserting it. Now let's pick up the pieces just like this and let me show you what to do at the top. Okay, so once we bring it to the top over here, we just need them to overlap like this. We want the top to be all level, but once you're satisfied with how the tripod tree looks like, you could get a second person to hold this like this while we screw in the base and we put the top on. But since I don't have a second person here, I'm just gonna use some of this packaging tape Now we get our end cap, and remember the holes we pre-drilled? That's where they come in handy. So all we're doing is we're adjusting the screw to make sure that we're hitting the PVC on the inside. And then we remove the tape. You want to make sure that all three of these get a screw in them. So oftentimes we might have to make another hole just so that we can grab it. And that's how you do the top. And for the last part, you want to make sure that the tripod effect looks good on the tree. Then we get a screw. And just like that, we drive it in. So now this leg will not move and we're gonna do it to all the three trees 
And this is what the skeletal structure of your PVC tree should look like. All the red electrical tape has been placed, the end cap is on top, and everything is attached. Now it's time to put Christmas lights. You can use any color. I'm using multicolor LED lights. We're going to start from the bottom, go to the top, and start going up and down. So let's get into it. All right, to begin, we have the male end that's going to hang a few inches down just like this. We get a white zip tie. I'm using four inch white zip ties. All we're going to do is zip tie it like this. Then we bring it all the way to the top. And we'll go on the nearest screw that we have and then we bring it all the way back down. And you can space them however far you want. I'm probably gonna be doing about six inches in spacing. But you can definitely bring them tighter together or further apart. And the great thing is that if you want to move them when they're done, you can simply just slide it over. So then I'm going to come across like this and I'm going to put another zip tie right here. And then we bring it back up just like so. And we attach another one right over here coming all the way down. We're gonna keep on going up and down, up and down, all the way around the tree. It should take us no more than 10 minutes to do this part. It's super simple. This is the end. And this is what it should look like once you're done. We could put a star on top if you wanted to. You could put an ornament. But look at it. It looks so great and it's so easy to make. And the best part about it is that it is super lightweight. It's sturdy and it's just awesome. If you live in an area that gets very windy winters, I would suggest securing your PVC tree to the ground. And we do that by grabbing two feet of rebar, hammering or pushing it into the ground at the same angle that this PVC leg is going. So just like that. Then bring your tree over right next to it and then get zip ties, hold it in place. It's not gonna go anywhere. I'm not gonna use the rebar method because we get mild winters here, but if you get windy, winters in your area, I would definitely recommend doing this. You only have to do it to one leg or you could do it to all three for extra stability. To finish our trees, we can put an ornament on top, a star, whatever you'd like. Since we put four screws on top, that's the perfect place to put something right there. I'm using these giant ornaments from the store called Michaels. I'm going to be using some hot glue right on top of the screw heads so this holds in place like that. But if you want a more permanent fixture, I would use outdoor construction glue or E6000 glue just so it stays right there. And that's it. We're done. Let's light them up. <music> 